And we're rolling. And we're rolling. Okay. Okay. This is, I think this is the 30th episode of Grandpa. 30? Yeah. <laughs> Man, 30, we've been 30 episodes. Wow. A little bit. That's, that's three times 10. <laughs> yeah, three times 10. So today's 30. episode, um, it's going to be a little interesting. I don't know maybe how interesting, but I found this. Yes, sir. Budweiser Black yeah. Lager with I guess is a gym mix of Jim Bean and Budweiser. Oh, that's what it say. That's it says Jim Bean on there. Oh, See hey. Jim Bean. Uh, it's Jim interesting. It's, right. it's seven point one yeah, percent alcohol. Bean. Yeah, Budweiser and Jim Bean got together. Eh? Yeah, we're gonna try it. We're yeah, gonna try how about that? We're gonna give it a rating. Okay. So we, we got our patented glasses. Yeah. yeah. Pretty bottle. This is, this is interesting. Yeah. I, I saw it at the store. Let's see yeah. what it's about. I'm wondering if this is Twist Off. I'm going to give it a if, try. If it's local, it's, it's Twist, twist off. off. It's Twist Off. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's Twist Off. Mm-hmm. Yep, yes, sir. Yes, it looks good. It looks so, good. Let's give it. Got a. We'll. 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 Um, Interesting. It tastes, it tastes different about regular. We'll, we'll, we'll rate it after we pour it. We did not drink it, but we'll pour it and look at it. And I can okay. almost tell just by looks. Looks. Just by looking at just it. All right. Yes. Let's give it a little quick pour and pour. Remember, we got to get some head on there, too. That's what they said last okay. time. Yeah. So now. This is, looks like a stout here. Oh, well, it's a black lager, so it's going to be darker than normal lagers. But it's still got some clear, it's still got some clarity to it. It has? Yeah, when you turn it too light, son. See, I, I got more head than no, you. No, you got that. more and more than you. Because you, you poured yours up the side. See, I well, like then, then you I said turned we, we needed more head, than you? Yeah, well, I, I poured mine to the side, and then I, I thought I did it fast enough where it would get more head with you. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. going to be fine. Well, you're going to get my color on up, man. Mm-hmm. Put a whole lot of head on it. It's better with the head, eh? Yeah, they say it's good. It's a, it's I know good draft job. beer, like I say. Hey, you can't beat draft beer that's been uh, cooling you in, in, a, in a cellar. Mm. Most of the, back in the day, the most beer guys had their draft beer in the caves. I wonder what they call Down in the city, because that, that's that room, that cellar room temperature, you know. Uh-huh. And that's the way they serve. Now, they didn't serve it cold from no refrigerator or nothing. They served it from the... The coolness of the cellar, mm. and they, they kind of piped it up, you know, to the, to the bar. So, what, what's the difference between a, a regular bar and a beer garden? Say that again. Though? You call it a beer garden. Like, what's the difference between a bar and a beer garden? No, I don't know. What do you know different? They used to call it a beer garden. You know, that's, you know, you asked a heck of a good question. Though, you know? I, I think when I was a kid, they used to. They used to I, I, when I think garden, I think they grow stuff or produce something. So they, it's probably because they make the beer there too, right? Some beer. Not because it's the local, the local bar. Or maybe because oh. when you go to the bar, you plant yourself. <laughs> it could be the local bar was. Uh, they didn't usually call it a bar. They called it a, a pub, a saloon, a beer garden. Okay. I locally, you know, I'm, maybe it's got something to do with the. Uh, Neighborhood, something you know, beer garden and bar. Yeah, Near bar when you uh, service more people. Maybe. Little, uh, I, mean, beer, I mean, I've I seen I've seen yeah, beer I mean, gardens yeah, yeah. that had a lot of people in it. You have to have a good question there. Hmm. But anyway, well, as usual, I'm sure someone will tell us. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. I'll be waiting for the answer too. <laughs> well, no, I never even thought about it. Seven in the water. Hey. I don't think it was no different. Same thing, just a different name, man. Yeah, different name. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Well, let's see what okay, you're well, pre It's kind of dark here, so. Um, What's your pre rating? I ain't. I can't go. Uh, I can I tell you by the smell? You're probably not going to enjoy it as much. Well, I'm going to say I'm The smell. Start. It smells a little like black licorice. Okay, I better go to about a four and a half and work up to a five. Hmm. Yeah. Let me smell it one more time. Hmm. It's got a, you got a sweet, so much yeah, sweet scent okay. to it. Well, let's, well, let's start out like all the other beer. We start out with um, 25, you know, oh. that's halfway to my, you know. All right. Well, it can work its way on up, if it, or work its way back down. <laughs> yeah, we got to see. We got to see. Let's yeah. Give it well, cheers. Oh, uh, cheers. <laughs> You know, 
It does have a chocolatey taste to it. Like a coffee chocolate, like a dark chocolate. But it, Bitter taste. It sort of reminded me of, um, you know when you bought that Killian, mm -hmm. that ale? Mm -hmm. It's kind of reminded of, at first, the first sip of it, I didn't care much about it, right? Mm -hmm. So I gave it a second sip, and then all of a sudden I'm beginning to come attached to it. Right? <laughs> so this year, I, the first sip reminded me of the Killian, you know, right. so maybe the next time I might start liking it. Let me take another sip, right? Okay, take another sip. Take another sip. Let me read this bottle a little bit, see what this is. Okay, so they aged the beer in bourbon barrels. Oh, okay. So that's where it kind of gets that flavor. Oh, it's pretty good, though. It's, it's, yeah, that's interesting. It's different. It's different, yeah. It's different. Yeah. You know what? You said it right. It feels like a, it feels like a chocolatey or, or a more bitter Killian's. Yeah. Got that Killian taste, man. Like that before, that Killian growed on me. I mean, this is growing me, too. Maybe. I'm surprised to see Budweiser got into the main business. Mm -hmm. Jim Beam Budweiser, black lager. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, it's a limited edition, so it's, it's not going to be here very long. Oh, that's a limited edition? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So if you like it, you got two more bottles. Okay. And you know, it's, it's, it sort of reminds me, too, of... Um, what, what do you call that beer? I tell you, you used to come out in February every year. Bowling bra? No, no. Oh, it's February. Like stout. Stout. Uh, not stout. Oh, it's something you, you said. You, you did mention it. Uh, I don't remember. I can't we talk about it a while. We used to come out every year in February. And uh, yeah, my understanding was, which I don't know how any truth in it or not, but my understanding was it was the bottom, before they begin to, um, I guess, clean the bottom. The, the barrels? The barrels and barrels yeah, and yeah. Out. That was at the bottom, and they sold it every year in February because after that, then I guess they clean them off and start all over. Oh, again. so it took like the soot and the yeah, beer right. Beer yeah. remains. It was, it was that? real dark. It was strong. It was much stronger. Mm -hmm. So that is sort of reminding me. We don't come to think about it. It's about that time of year that they used to do it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe this is their version. Yeah. Well, you said it's limited. Well, well, what well, well, I mean, but they don't brew. No, I don't. I don't like. I don't think they brew Budweiser and Jim Beam bourbon arrows or any other. But you said. But you said limited. That means that maybe this time of the year only. And if it's limited, it's going not all year round beer, right? I just think it's a. Oh yeah. But I think it's just like a collaborative effort with Jim Beam to kind yeah, of. I think so too. I don't think it's a thing where they were like, "Oh man, we got all this 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 bottom barrel beer. Yeah. What we're we gonna do with it?" I think it was one of those situations where, I mean, it could also be a mixture of two. You know, they have all this extra beer mm -hmm. from that was like less desirable, and they just threw it in the barrels, but it says barrel age, so I, mean, I like to think this has been here for a minute. Uh, okay. I'm buying. I mean, I wonder if there's like some other information on the box. Now, nah, just, well, hold on. It says right here, introducing, <clears throat> introducing the bourbon. Let me start over again. Introducing the Budweiser Reserve Collection black lager, a speciality lager, aged to perfection on, what does it say, six year Jim Bean bourbon barrel uh, staves, and brewed with toasted two row barley for a flavored chocolate rye and toasted malt taste, a dark urban color and oaky aroma with coffee and chocolate notes and a deliciously smooth finish. So this is a six, this took six years to make. It did? Mm-hmm. That's why it's limited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes six years to make. Yeah, it takes six years to make. Yeah. But you know, it's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Well, I, mean, I drink it every six years. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like weird. Like, some tastes of it are like, man, it's pretty good. And other tastes of it are interesting. Yeah. Maybe it's just like a. Do we need the pretzel to go with it? Uh, I'm, I'm not really a pretzel guy, but I'll get you the pretzels. Okay, get you the pretzels. No, I really, nah, oh well. Yeah, I'm eating that pretzel. Uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Get pretzels here. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll get a pretzel out of it. Now, now it's here. Uh -huh. I ate a pretzel, now it's here. <laughs> so, what, what else do you think about this beer? What are any other, any other notes? What you, what you want to rate it? Think you think had enough of it to tell? No, well, already it moved up, it moved up past five. Mm -hmm. Five and a half now, at least. At least? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got your final rating? No, maybe go to the six. Maybe? You got the whole lap? Eat these pretzels. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. So, what are you thinking about next week? What are you thinking about what we want to try? In case we don't just randomly find a beer. <laughs> we haven't tried yet. Okay. In case we don't randomly find a beer. What do we want to try next week? That we should plan on looking at. Oh, I'm going. I was going. I was going. To, I even went to. I was going to look for it down here too, but I hadn't even went to Ann Harbor. Mm -hmm. I was going to go down there. I think I should have been there first. I'm, I'm, I think sure they got that going about that. And I done talked about it. So, and I done gave it such a big. You, you got it. Got it where? No, I just, I, they might have it there in Cherry oh. Hill. I, I don't know. I, I was going to go there and look. You know? I'd be very surprised if they had it there. Very surprised. Well, if they don't have it there, it's probably hard to find. Uh, I think it is hard to find. I think we think we're still in business. I, I mean, I think we have to order it. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. But, I think, uh, This isn't like a beer I would drink every day. Is it this is? No. It's no. a little, it's a, it's like a little interesting. Like some parts of it are really good. Like when I do some sips are really good. Other sips are really like, it's like a, it hits you like a really bitter taste for some, some parts of it. It does? For me. I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, but. I wouldn't make like it every day, but I I can drink it every other day. <laughs> every other day. <laughs> the pretzels really do help with it though. Pretzels are definitely adjusting my view of it. Yeah. The pretzel. Yeah. yeah. So if you get Budweiser black lager. Well, it could be. It could be salt on the pretzels. Could be. Could be. But, you know. You ever, you ever put any salt in beer? I have not put salt in beer, but I have put olives in beer. Well, salt too, too. Salt gives it a head too, you know. It I gives know a slight, that. It gives a little slight difference in taste. Really? I mean, I've, I've heard, I've, I've heard and I've put olives in beer, and um, it has made a big difference. Maybe I'll try salt one day. Mm -hmm. when, when, when did you put salt in beer? Salt. They give it a little, um, I guess a little more sodium taste. It was a long time ago, I forgot why. I just like um, Maybe to cut the fizz a little bit? Yeah, I'm quite sure it does. Yeah. Alright, well. Maybe we, uh, maybe we should cut this episode a little short. We're, mm -hmm. we're just kind of chilling at this point. Uh, what do you what do you, what do you want to feel for the, the final final verdict on it? Well, we can. Um, At least we gotta go at least give it a five and a half. Five, five and a half. Five off right. Yeah, it moved up, you know. A little bit. Yeah, it moved up some because it's not bad, not a bad beer. Like we say, it ain't maybe not be every day. Yeah, day, every, not every, every day. other day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if you know, if I saw it, I'm at a friend's house. I'm like, I've never seen Budweiser Black Lock. Let me try that. I'd do that. But yeah. I, you know, I, I probably won't buy this at the store again. If yeah. I saw it. But, but I drink not, it. I drink it if it was available to me. It sure gives me that Killian taste, though. It's a little. It's a little more, more pronounced than Killian. Mm, think so. Mm -hmm. oh. Killian's I could drink. Killian's I could drink every day. Oh. This is a little bit, little, a little more bitter than Killian's. Maybe that's it. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not too deep on the bitter beers. Mm. But it's not. It's not bad. It's not. Mm. You say. 
It's not something I would be like, nah, I would never read this. Okay. All right, well, cool. So we got five and a half for Budweiser Black Lager. Um, Grandpa's still on the search for for Lowenbrock. Mm, yeah. He's going to try the next, I should say next, but the been, further down liquor store. I should have been the founder by now. If, they, if it is. I think you have to order it online, or we have to order it online. Yeah, I'm going to take it out. But you know, you guys have a. You want to sign off, Grandpa? You do you sign off? What are you, what are you going to do this week? Oh, I got to sign off. Mhm. Mm oh, we're going to sign off with uh, See you next week. See you next Wednesday. Yeah, there you go. You got to look at the. You got to look at them. Oh yeah, yeah. Next next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>